a super rare event is going to happen. But wait, not one, three, all at the same time. Supernova style science news with Jelly Seven Sage. Welcome back to Supernova Style Science News. Sorry for the long delay in videos. I've just been super busy with cubes in space, programming, and all the other cool stuff that I've been doing. If you've been following on Twitter or Instagram, you would have seen everything that's been happening. But I've had to come back for this amazing event. On January 31st, there will be a super blue blood moon. It hasn't happened in over 150 years. Its peak will be at 6.48 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. What this is, is a supermoon, a blue moon, and a lunar eclipse or blood moon together. I'll explain each of these things in detail. A supermoon is when the moon is closest to the Earth, when it's at its perigee. It's only about 14% bigger. Some people say that this isn't super, but if you think about it, it actually is. If Superman and Flash are standing next to each other, Superman is still super because he's just that much better. And our moon is special, so being that much bigger makes it super. Next is the blue moon. A blue moon is the second full moon in a month. This month, the first one was on New Year's. Blue moons are not that special because it doesn't have anything to do with the color. It's really just because of our calendar. But it's still rare, even though another one is happening in March. If you've ever heard the phrase, once in a blue moon, that's where this comes from. Next is the lunar eclipse. A lunar eclipse is when the Earth blocks out the sun on a full moon, giving the moon a red color. It is red because of the atmosphere of the Earth. It's actually the shadow of the Earth, and the red light is refracting, which gives it that cool color that everyone loves. This is an amazing event, and my two favorite parts of it is going to be big and red and amazing. So, if you want more information, check out the links below, and I hope that you'll be able to see it.